Hey what's going on everyone, CJC presents Wanda, Workouts and Anime. I'm going to be doing a two-part prediction video series on DLC packs 5 and 6. In today's video, we are going to predict when DLC pack 5 and 6 will be released, along with when they will be marketed. I'll be using how DLC pack 4 has been marketed as a basis for my prediction. In part 2, I will be discussing how the missions will be structured in the two episodes left in Special Log. With that out of the way, let's get to predicting when DLC Pack 5 and 6 will be released. It's important to first look at the groundwork that's been laid out for the fans regarding Character Pass 2. The reveal trailer was July 21st of 2023, in which the theme of the DLC Pack 4 was dictated, the first character, Rooftop Luffy, was teased. We then got the month of when the DLC pack will be released, and then the new costume for the DLC pack that was shown, in this case, Law. Two weeks later, we got gameplay of the character with the new threads, Law, and the ultimate attacks of the first revealed character, again in this case, Rooftop Luffy. The Japanese One Piece Games Twitter tweets out a teaser September 4th for Hybrid Kaido and Yamato. 10 days before DLC Pack 4 is released. And in the wee hours of Sunday, before the DLC was released, we get a full coverage video on the One Piece YouTube channel breaking down the new characters. The key thing to note here is that the full coverage YouTube video only came out after Bajrang Gung and Flaming Bagua were showcased in the anime, only hours after that episode released. Between the initial teaser and the release date, it's been approximately 55 to 56 days, one month and a half. This is the format we'll be using to determine how the marketing will be done for DLC Pack 5 and 6. Of course, we'll discuss DLC Pack 5 first, which has been data mined to be the Film Red Pack that will include Uta, Film Red Shanks, and a playable Kobe, which is a very nice touch. Most people will be disappointed with another Shanks, considering how Rooftop Luffy was done. I would hope Shanks does get a new moveset, however the one change we can certainly bank on is his red pants he wears in Film Red. I mean, floral shirts are one thing, but not too many people can pull off floral pants, yeah? So, so when can we actually expect a reveal? Whether in a trailer or scans, I believe scans will come out in the last issue of the year in Shonen Jump before they go on their holiday break. I couldn't find out when that date is specifically, so to keep the one and a half months timeline, a reveal trailer will come out December 21st. With it not only officially revealing Uta doing some sort of special move, but also getting the character who will have a new costume. I personally believe this will be Rooftop Luffy getting his bad pirate outfit from Film Red. I would love if all the Straw Hats get their bad pirate's outfit. However, if Zoro and Sanji couldn't get their Onigashima fits along with Law in DLC Pack 4, then I don't believe the rest of the Straw Hats will get their bad pirate fits either. I would love to be proven wrong, which again, they have proven us wrong, let's be honest, Koei Tecmo has proven us wrong, but based on what's already been given to us, I can't really believe otherwise in terms of cosmetics. Teaser trailer will also give us what month the film Red Pack will be released, which I believe to be in February. February serves as the midpoint between September and July of 2024 which is when DLC Pack 6 will be released according to the reveal trailer of DLC Pack 4. It will be 5 months after DLC Pack 4 is released, and 5 months before July when the last pack will be. The first look we will get to see of Luffy's film red outfit and Uta doing her ultimate will come 2 weeks after, so it'll be on January 5th is when we see screenshots and some sort of gameplay snippet. Throughout the next couple of weeks, we will see Luffy doing his supers in his new costume. Then, they will show Uta's other ultimate move and a couple of combo strings, just to keep us on the edge of our seats. February 4th is when we will be teased for Film Red Shanks and Kobe. Then, February 11th is when we'll get the full coverage video on the One Piece YouTube channel, properly showcasing all three characters. 
the marketing for this DLC will be some sort of, I don't know, Valentine's pun. As I believe the film Red Pack will be released February 14th. The tagline might be, fall in love with film Red again in Pyro Warriors 4. Just something along those lines. But here's the biggest problem with this template for DLC Pack 5. The movie has already come out. However, there will be an encore screening starting October 20th and will run one month only in Japan. This rescreening will also have new scenes added as well, and the Blu-ray came out already on August 7th, 2023. Now, unless there's going to be a Western release, there isn't an anime to hold back the marketing for the film Red Pack. The reason the floodgates opened for the reveals and info for DLC Pack 4 was that they were waiting for the anime to showcase the Bajrang Gung against Flaming Bagua. This does not change when DLC Pack 5 will be released, which I believe will be around Valentine's Day, along with the content in the second episode of the special log, which will again be discussed in a different video. Now this leaves us waiting for the final DLC pack. Before we discuss DLC pack 6, of course if you are liking this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. The format and timing give us an idea of when DLC pack 6, which has been data mined to be titled Younger Days and will feature Goldie Roger, a young Garp, and a young Rayleigh. As many of you know, I'd prefer Sengoku than Rayleigh, since I believe the world government needs better representation of playable characters, but uh, <laughs> I digress. We know that DLC Pack 6 will release sometime in July, according to the reveal trailer of Character Pass 2. July will be the release month, however, now we must deduce as to when we will get information and an actual release date. As I stated earlier, February serves as the midpoint for when the DLC pack drops. February is not the only midpoint, as December serves the same purpose for reveals trailers as well. From our first reveal trailer in July, to when I believe we will get one for DLC pack 5 in December, is 5 months between. We can safely say that 5 months from December, that being May, we'll get our reveal trailer for DLC Patch 6, showcasing Goal D. Roger. With our Goal Boy being revealed, it also comes with a character who will get a new costume, that being of course Whitebeard as we saw him during Odin's flashback. This trailer will be released May 24th, 2024. Two weeks later on, on June 7th, We'll get screenshots released on the Twitter sphere of Prime Whitebeard and Goldie Roger. Now, when it comes to the anime, they do actually have something to wait on. That being what occurs during the Egghead arc. We do get to see what Garp is actually somewhat capable of at an older age. His moveset will not just include him throwing cannonballs, although I'm sure it'll play some part. This DLC pack I think will follow the formula set out by DLC pack 4's marketing. DLC pack 5 will certainly be the anomaly since the movie has already been released over a year ago. However, with DLC pack 6, I believe that they will wait until Garp's fight is over in the anime, of course, when it gets animated, to then reveal Garp and his galaxy punches. Depending when that is, we will get to see Garp and Rayleigh teased. Right now, my current belief is that Younger Days will come out July 17th or 18th in 2024, finally wrapping Character Pass 2. But before I end today's video, I need to play Devil's Advocate with all the points I've just made. In the new marketing for this game, nowhere does it say July 2024 anymore. The initial trailer tells us that July 2024 is when we'll get playable characters of Character Pass 2. However, Koei Tecmo may have bitten off more than they can chew, and have quietly taken out the fact that, initially, July was when everything will be released. You can also say that they're just promoting the One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 is now on sale with the rest of its add-ons, they probably just want people to purchase the Ultimate Edition while it's on sale. For now, we can overlook this. However, when Uta does get revealed, and the trailer ends with July being nowhere to be seen, we need to call back to this video. This is for your awareness as well. 
that July may no longer be the last month in which we get DLC Pack 6. And that's it, that brings us to the end of today's video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, the final part of this video series will have us predicting what missions we'll get in the last two special logs. I will see you in the comments and in the next video. Peace.